Hello everyone, Dr. Victoria Skirbo here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. So today is time for Taroscopes for the sign of Pisces 2022, uh, April of 2022. And um, I have behind me my, um, my um, inspired drawing of painting of Pisces. And uh, what you see there is that's actually the um the stars in the um the constellation of pisces and then reflected you know because pisces is a dual energy you know part of us part of pisces is in the other world and part of pisces is in this world so there's always this this longing for um there's a longing for 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 better right for for more fullness, for more love, for more connectedness, for more oneness. And of course, Neptune is in Pisces right now, and Jupiter is in Pisces. Both of those signs are rulers of the sign of Pisces. So the Pisces energy is probably, you know, with all this Pluto and Uranus going on, probably the most powerful at this point is the energy of Pisces. Pisces deals with letting go and forgiving and extracting meaning and loving and opening your heart and walking in other people's moccasins. This is all Pisces energy. And we certainly um, have both that awareness and the need, right? So um, let's take a look at Pisces for the month of April, 2022. I'm going to be starting, I'm going to do the tarot reading with the Arcanum deck, which is a beautiful deck, uh, I believe from Italy. It's Italian. Um, everybody is so beautiful in this deck. There are no, there are no coarse and unattractive Italians in the stack. So, and having been to Italy, I have to probably agree with that. <laughs> Everyone I met was lovely, and uh, had a beauty all their own, all their own. So, boy, it's been a long time since I've been to Italy. I have a good friend, actually a Pisces friend. Hi, Katie. In case you're watching, um, who just came back from Italy. Um, couple months ago and um, she remarked that everything in Italy is a work of art and it's true I mean it's 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 been around for so long there's so much history there's so much art there's so much style it's a beautiful beautiful country not without its problems right don't we all have our problems even Mussolini came from Italy so all right let's see here what do we uh what do we need to know Let's start with, ah, the Two of Wands. Two of Wands. Two of Wands is a card about opening up to, uh, you know, bigger shores, looking at the world from your perspective, but being, being wanting to be open to the world. Um, there is a sense of having, Having established yourself where you are, now you want to sort of open up into the wider world and sort of bring your magic out, you know, bring you know, send out your light. Uh, you know, in a way, it's, you're like a lighthouse in this. You're just shining your light from your own shore and looking out uh, further from further ashore to see what is going to be attracted to you, what ships, uh, you know, what ships are going out, what ships are coming in um, and the like. We have, uh, the, the challenge here is uh, the Page of Wands. How do you get your message out? That's a bit of the challenge here, Pisces. Um, perhaps you feel you're not being heard. Perhaps you feel you're not utilizing your ability to communicate to the best of your abilities because something is blocking you or you just don't understand how things work uh, as far as, in the area of communications and letting, letting your, uh, letting your, sh your light shine, right? Let letting your spirit shine. At the, at the core of this is the three of swords. You've just recently had a heartbreak. Uh, there's some pain here. Um, things that you thought, situations that you thought were going to be a certain way have turned out not to be that way. Um, on a certain level, it brings you a lot of sorrow and a lot of sadness, but it also brings you a certain amount of freedom. So you're no longer sort of stuck within that uh, paradigm. The paradigm has been sort of split open. The heart has been broken. 
and only a broken heart can hold more love. So, so it's a process of opening up. And sometimes that opening up is painful, is painful. In the, in the past, we have the Four of Swords. So you have been spending some time in uh, meditation, isolation, uh, you know, uh, quiet time. This is a time to be alone. This is not necessarily negative. It has more to do with needing rest needing rest and taking the rest that you need. Let's see what's in the sky. Ah, the wheel of fortune. So even if you feel like you have something to offer and nothing is happening, fate is in the sky. The change is coming. The change is actually already here. So things are changing for you, Pisces. Don't, don't worry that you're not being heard or seen. Uh, you just have to keep um, shining your light and, and the, the, the wheel will turn. And you will have an opportunity to expand out into the world, I think. In the immediate future, you have the Ten of Wands. You have a lot of obligations. You have a lot of details that you have to deal with. You have a lot of burdens. I think this month for you in April would be a good month for you to decide what, what burdens are you willing to continue to, to carry and which ones is a time for you to let go of and, and release yourself. Uh, so you can start a new cycle. So you can start a new cycle. How we've seen from the outside, we have the victory card. You're seen as somebody who's very courageous, who's fought a good battle, is very brave. You, on the other hand, may see it as a little differently. You may say, oh yeah, well, great, I was brave and I was, you know, uh, courageous in this. But, um, um, you know, everything costs something. Everything costs something. And sometimes glory isn't worth it. In your domestic situation, we have the death card. That means change. Something is changing in your domestic situation. Um, this generally doesn't mean a passing for somebody, uh, but something passes away. It can be a person. If there's somebody in your life that's very old, uh, very sick, uh, the chances of them passing at this time are greater, but it does not necessarily mean somebody's going to die. But there is definitely trans transition, transformation, in your domestic situation, this could even be you're renovating your home. You're renovating your home. Hopes and fears, the three of pentacles. You hope that you have the the, the support. Um, you hope that the people that you're dealing with are above board. You hope that that uh, things can get done and things can get accomplished. Um, and then the uh, what's coming up in the, the outcome is the eight of swords. Now, the eight of swords may seem like a negative outcome. It really is about utilizing your intuition uh, to get where you need to go. You need on a certain level to get out of the all this fear talk and sort of move in the direction of, um, of utilizing your intuition. Excuse me a second. I was getting a call. I had to decline. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can pull a major arcana. We have the four of pentacles. So there is some... Um, um, let's hold on. I'm still declining. Okay. <laughs> um, so you're holding on to some things, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing. I think it's probably a good thing you're holding on to something, especially when it comes to like money. I think you need to be especially careful with your money. I don't think it's your imagination that, um, that you have to be a little bit, keep your, keep, keep your resources close to you. I think that's important. We have the King of Swords, which is often, um, often justice. It could be legal matters or it could be, um, you know, a, a police, that kind of, that kind of energy, that sort of martial energy, but fairness, fairness, not necessarily negativity. And of course the four of, um, wands, which is celebration. So, um, what this says to me is that if you were judicious and logical uh, with your actions, you uh, you don't have to worry about the money. Uh, you will have the celebration on the other end. I just dropped the card. Let's see what's underneath it. We have the Five of Cups. Lots of sorrow and pain. Of course, we're all going through that, right? Five of Wands, that's two fives in a row. So that's change, change. And of course, we have the Wheel of Fortune at the top of this reading. So definitely change is coming. And the judgment card, you're waking up. This is the awakened soul. This is the time, the time to awaken, the time to, um, for change, for, for you to wake up 
and walk your path of your soul. And <clears throat> this isn't going to mean a thing when it's about awakening. So that's what I see there. Now let's do a um, an oracle card. And I have my favorite uh, Doreen Virtues cards here, which is the Goddess Guidance Oracle. These might have been the first oracle cards I ever got. So let's see what goddess has something to say to us, Pisces. Now, I just want to make a mention that my moon's in Pisces. So this reading is for me. <laughs> also, okay. All right, let's see what goddess wants to come up, wants to speak to us. What goddess wants to speak to us? husband was trying to get a hold of me on the phone so usually he uh, doesn't do that he usually pokes his head out the door. it's a beautiful spring day to you today and where the flowers are coming up now it's starting to get warm it was cold this morning I think it's gonna be a beautiful day I think we'll probably do a little work outside I have to pace myself, though. I just can't do it the way I used to do it, you know? All right. Let's see. Goddess. I knew this was going to happen. Yamaya. Yamaya asesu. Asesu yamaya. Yamaya asesu. Asesu yamaya. Yimaya Lodo, Elodo Yimaya. Golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Like the ocean, life moves in waves and tides. Timing is everything. So when the opportunity presents itself, you must dive into that moment. Everything that you've done to prepare yourself will accompany you. Yet if you hesitate or procrastinate, another opportunity will surely come along, just like the tides wash in and end out continuously. Like the ocean, life is rich with variety and beauty. Enjoy experiencing its various rhythms and allow all doubts to be washed away. Interesting, she is the goddess of the oceans. And there she is in the ocean. Don't hesitate. This is the right thing to do. So if you have any doubts, your prayers are being answered. Get ready for a big and happy change. Didn't we have that right at the top of the right at the top of the reading? Celebrate your success. Know that you're qualified and ready for this new opportunity. Yemaya is an African and Brazilian goddess, Arisha, as it were, who, who is credited with creating the sea. Uh, Yemaya, uh, you can work with Yemaya by putting a tiny boat in the water and asking her for a wish. If Yemaya um, grants you the wish, her waves will swallow the miniature boat. If she denies the wish, the boat will wash up to shore. Since the sea is the root of earth life, Yemaya's connection to it makes her a very powerful and nurturing mother goddess. She is a protector, supplier, and one who grants wishes. So should I say, be careful what you wish for? Because <laughs> chances are, you're going to get it. All right, guys, have yourself a great month. Like, subscribe if you would like a reading with me. I do do those astrology, cabal, and numerology combination readings. I can also do just astrology if that's what you want, or just numerology or just Kabbalah. But I like the combination. It's like working with more than one ingredient. And so we get a really tasty a tasty experience, as it were. Uh, I am going to be doing uh, more Kabbalah classes in May. You can check out my events page on my website, thesiegetransformation.com. And uh, you can always um, contact me with questions. Um, there is a donate uh, thing there. You can donate to the channel. Everything is, is um, you know, appreciated. Uh, if it's not, if it's not your money, it's certainly your time and your attention. Okay, guys, take care. Much love. Namaste.